You know, this is usually the point where the person says, Wow! I never thought I could have gotten this far! 300,000 subscribers? No, if I said that, it'd that be a damn a lie, lie alright? Let's take it back. All the way back to when the channel kneecaps hadn't even been a thought. Me and my friend Dom, we used to make videos on this potato ass web camera back in middle school on Facebook, right? We called ourselves Specimen Productions. We were complete amateurs, didn't know what the hell we were doing. We couldn't really afford props or anything like that. Uh, the majority of our videos were filmed inside of our houses, and there was like this watermark on almost all of our videos because we couldn't even afford to buy the full version of the video editor that we used, but we didn't care. We had so much fun, you know, we didn't care about money, we didn't care about fame, we just wanted to make videos to make ourselves and other people laugh. Now after a while, we decided to move our video shenanigans over to YouTube and we changed the name from Specimen Productions to Bushin Productions. Now on the Bushin channel, we upgrade a little bit, you know, we throw away our McDonald's dollar menu web camera and you know, we bought like a cheap handheld camcorder. It was at that time we thought, you know what? We could get famous off of this stuff, and, and that's what we tried to do. Emphasis on try, all right? Now, not only did that channel die at around 60 subscribers, but, but after a few videos on the channel, we kind of just stopped making videos together, you know? We, we didn't start hating each other or anything like that. It, it was more of a combination of us having less time because of high school and the lack of reliable transportation. That's when I decided to start focusing on animation, right? This was like around the time that my biggest inspirations were the members of Sleepy Cabin, you know, especially Oni. I spent weekends, weekends just, just, just pirating different animation programs and watching tutorials on how to use them, right? I, I made a few animations on the Bushin channel, all of which were god awful, but at the time I was delusion like, bro, I, I, this is so sick. I, I'm the greatest. I'm, I'm like a I'm like a modern day Michelangelo. I moved over to Newgrounds with my animations, which is when I finally changed my name to Kneecaps with two Ks. You know, uh, I made like two animations over there. Finally realized I was dog shit at it, gave up, and then came back to YouTube and made this channel in 2015, again with the name Kneecaps with two Ks, which was later changed to Kneecaps with a C. I didn't upload on the channel for a while because. Around that time, I was working part-time after school at a grocery store, and, you know, saving up money to get better equipment for the channel. Now, after working some hours at my job, I was able to save up and buy myself a blue snowball, right? I, I made uh, a surplus of videos on the blue snowball, all of which my dumbass deleted, and then upgraded my equipment even further, upgrading my, uh, my snowball to like a blue Yeti, and then upgrading my PC as well. Now, now during that era, commentary over gameplay was the hottest thing. The hottest thing, like channels like Leafy and Pyrocynical just exploding in popularity. So I tried to get in on the trend, right? Making my own commentary videos, but instead of CSGO surfing gameplay for the background, it, it was Lost Saga. The videos I made then were, were pretty low quality and didn't attract many viewers and subscribers, but one thing it did do was introduce me to one of my favorite YouTubers, Video Game Donkey. You see in the comments of the videos, there'd always be like two to three people saying, hey, hey doesn't this guy sound like video game Dunkey? Hey, bro, you kind of sound like Dunkey. And for a while, I thought Dunkey was like some sort of Sesame Street character. And it was just some meme that, you know, a couple of my subscribers made up just to mess with me until I decided, you know what? I'll go search this Dunkey thing up, right? So I searched him up and it brought up his channel. I clicked on the, the Dundertale video. And at that point, it was like the funniest thing I'd ever seen. In fact, Dunkey made such a big impression on me. My, my rookie YouTuber ass tried to imitate or you know kind of match his uh, you know his over enunciated high energy voice style on my channel for a while. It went from people thinking I kind of sounded like him to having like a full two years of videos where people would watch my videos and think it was like Dunkey's hidden second channel and I don't blame them. And anytime I click on one of my old videos like Toei I can feel my ears cringing and, and regressing back into the pockets of my cranium. Now I've long since dropped the whole voice thing but every now and then if i make a video that has any sort of gameplay in it people will be like what the hell is that video game donkey get it because he slightly sounds like donkey and he's playing a video game which i don't really mind too much because donkey has really inspired the type of humor i use on this channel you know my editing style and overall i feel like this channel wouldn't be where it is without him 
anyways, the, the story ends here. Here we are, 300,000 subscribers. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video? It, it wasn't a narcissism thing. It's just that you think after all that fucking work, all the trials and errors that I've been through, all the money I put in to support my endeavors, I'm gonna be like, oh, well, I, I thought I'd never make it. N nigga, no, all right? In my mind, this outcome was the only outcome. I, I just knew that it'd take time. But here comes the cliche part, and I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Thank you guys for all the support. If, if I could suck all your dicks, I would. But I don't have the money to buy all the tickets for your hometowns, nor the time to do it. But truly and honestly, thank you guys. I couldn't have done it without you. Without you.